It is time again to ask the attorney. Attorney Gilbert Adams is here to answer your legal questions. Gilbert, thanks for being with thanks us. Thanks for having me. All right. You had a busy day today? I did have a busy day. <laughs> Very busy. They're all busy yeah, today. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it for being here. Um, our first question tonight, could I make a citizen's arrest under Texas law and under what circumstances? Well, yeah, there's a 140-year-old statute that says that uh, citizens can become auxiliary peace officers and that they can make a citizen's arrest. It has to be under certain requirements. can't just do it any time. It has to be a felony or a crime against the public peace, such as disorderly conduct, fighting, something like that. And you have to either witness it or it has to be in your presence. And then, yes, a citizen can make an arrest. The next question then becomes, what do you do with the person that you've arrested yeah. as, a, as a citizen? <laughs> and, and the law requires that he or she be taken to a magistrate and, uh, and, and arraigned. And you are allowed to use reasonable force, just like a police officer, in making that arrest. So you become a auxiliary peace officer. Man, you almost have to have a little bit of nerve, though, to pull something you, off like you that. You do, because you can have some liability if, if you're not correct. How about if you wind up hurting the guy you can or have some girl? You can have some liability if the force used was not reasonable. Yes. Hmm. And that's open for the courts to decide that. Right? After the fact, under a totality of the circumstances. Okay. All yeah. right. Question number two. I'm the sole beneficiary of my dad's will. Do I have to pay his debts or liabilities when he dies? Uh, the answer to that question is yes. There's a mm -hmm. will. There's Presumably there's assets and there's liabilities. So the, the liabilities and debts certainly have to be taken care of. The executor, the person who's in charge of administrating it, will take care of that. And you may have been willed property, but it's only going to be after any liabilities and debts have been taken care of. Yes, and I know that from personal experience that, yeah, there are bills to be paid. If there are bills to be paid, and you are responsible. That's right. Yeah, so that's, that's right. That's a very uh, emotional situation as well as uh, the legality. Tough of situation. It. Yeah. All right, question number three. I see people's cars being searched on the highway by police officers. I thought the Constitution said that we have a right to be free from searches. Hmm. Well, good question. Uh, we do have a right by the Fourth Amendment to be free from uh, unreasonable searches and seizures. Uh, what the law requires is actually that the peace officer have probable cause or reasonable suspicion. It's been whittled down over the years. What people are seeing, though, on the side of the roads when you see somebody's car being searched is the peace officer is asking if uh, there is consent. And once you give consent, it doesn't matter if there's probable cause or reasonable suspicion. Mm -hmm. With the consent, the officer can, can search anything he wishes. So uh, it's always a lawyer's advice not to give that consent. Uh, if you don't have to. But a lot of times you're under pressure at the particular time. You're not thinking about a lawyer if you're stopping That's right. at midnight or one o'clock in the morning and you're scrambling to make heads or tails of what's going on. That's exactly right. And that's what you're seeing every time you see somebody's car search. More likely than not, somebody has consented to that search. Now, I wonder what the percentage is of uh, authorities actually finding something in that car when they do searches, I wonder. You know, these police officers, they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not going to ask people unless, unless they have a, a good reason to, to do so. All right, Gilbert, thanks so much. Thank Again, uh, very enlightening information on uh, some of the things we should make sure we take care of in case these questions come up. Absolutely. If you have a question that you would like to submit to air on this program, email us at asktheattorney at fox4beaumont.com. You can also call 835-3000 with your legal questions.